Making diet and exercise changes can help reduce your risk for developing type 2 diabetes, but getting started and sticking to them can be tough. Hi, my name is Tinika, and I'm a coach for the Small Steps for Weight Changes Diabetes Prevention Program. And today I'm here to talk to you about getting started and understanding your motivations for change. If you clicked on this video, you're at an exciting time where you've already started thinking about change, or maybe you've even started making some changes on your own. Making lifestyle changes is an exciting and also a challenging commitment. It's hard for many people to get started and to continue to stay motivated to change. The first step to set us up for success is to think about why we want to change. Feel free to have a pen and paper handy to take notes as we go. Is it because your doctor told you to watch what you eat or lose some weight? Or maybe your friend or partner told you to exercise more? Or maybe it's because you yourself want to lose weight or you want to become healthier. If these are your reasons, then I challenge you to go one step further. If you're changing for your partner, your friend, or your doctor, think about what those changes mean to you and what being healthy means to you. Perhaps being healthy means to, you can remain independent as you age. Perhaps losing weight means that you'll increase your mobility or endurance. Perhaps it will help reduce the amount of medications you take or enjoy more years playing with your children or your grandchildren. But it can even be smaller things like continue to be able to tie up your shoes or have more energy for that sightseeing trip that you have planned. The reasons are endless and are specific to your situation. We tend to think of these reasons as a reflection of our inner body. An example of this could be someone wanting to be healthier can walk more to increase their physical activity or reduce sugar or sweet consumption for a diet modification. Or you may have thought of your own ideas on what you can do to make yourself healthier. These are examples of the behaviors that are within our power to change and through these changes can help lead us to become healthier. Making diet and exercise changes takes time and it's normal to encounter moments of frustration. Moments where you're just tired of trying so hard or just not seeing the results quickly enough. Once you understand what being healthy means to you, you can reflect on these reasons in moments of frustration and take time to notice the small things. Perhaps you're walking further or it's easier to tie up your shoes. These are wonderful examples that you're making progress to your goal. Finally, if you want to include these changes in your daily life, it's important to enjoy what you're doing. Are you a social person? Perhaps finding a walking buddy, joining a community exercise group, or a community cooking class. Are you getting bored on your walks? Try listening to music or varying up your route. All these tricks can help you get started and stay motivated. Stay healthy, happy, and remember, small steps can lead to big changes.